Okay. Uh, um. So hold on. How do you guys normally go over the characters? Because I figured I could just like keep this open. You guys just elaborate the characters for me, or do do you guys not uh, normally like? I mean, it depends where you want to start. Really. There's only like seven main characters anyway. Yeah. Uh. I mean, dude. Do you want to start with the first one, then go on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so from the top, like top dog, probably, or maybe, maybe Hank, bottom Stanford, dog. Stanford, Demos, and then. I mean, well, hang on. Like, what? I mean, what if we uh, like, talk about them in the order in which they're introduced in the actual yeah, series? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. Go for All right, it. Well, the the biggest main boy is Hank. Hank J. Wimbledon is his full name. He's the one that shot the sheriff, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, and everybody else as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's the guy, you know, you see wearing goggles and all the madness art and stuff, or the guy with the big, like, lobster arm. Because uh, <laughs> he he has, like, a new appearance with every episode, essentially, because he keeps fucking dying and then coming back. Uh, he's died at least, like, seven times, I think, by Madness Combat 11. I love that, actually. The fact that he just keeps coming back like some fucking Terminator you can't get rid of. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, it starts out with a sort of arc where he just uh, tries to kill a character called the Sheriff, who's basically just that. He's a sheriff. Nothing more, nothing less. He's being guarded by two people, uh, one of which is the Jesus-looking guy, simply called Jeebus, or Kristoff, as Swain and Crinkles are calling him now. Uh, he's, so yeah, he's the dude with a halo, who... Again, strongly resembles Jesus. Nega Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not, he he's not Jesus. Nega Jesus, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's, there's also the clown, who you've definitely seen before. He's called Tricky. Uh, and, I mean, he's already crazy from the get-go, but he gets progressively, like, even crazier and pulls off bigger stunts as the series goes on. But, uh, I mean, I, I've talked enough now, so either Shads or Sim could say the next ones. Shads, he got it. Oh, uh, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> so, basically, like, uh, fuck, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> 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 Listen, I, I was just ex- I was ex- uh, expecting Zap just to explain the main one. So, Zap, I'm assuming you talked about Demos and Sanford, right? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Yeah, uh, okay, gotcha. So, Demos is basically, uh, Demos and Sanford are like a, a duo. Basically, like, they um, showed up in episode 5, I think, right? Uh, and 5. 5 for, a little, for like a sec, yeah, for like a few seconds. Yeah. So, they're normally like um, associated with like the point videos, like point five, point uh, six, whatever. So, um, with Deimos, like he's like the one that obviously has like all um, like he has the coat, he has like the hat, and then he smokes a lot or whatever. And then we have Sanford, who has like the um, like shorts, and he has the hook, right? Yeah. And they're um, I'm assuming like Hank, uh, Sanford, and Deimos are all friends, right? Or like basically like they all know each other. Or so in some way, because they showed up uh, in that vehicle, right? And the building got dropped on top of them, and then all of a sudden yep. we have this side story with uh, Sanford and Deimos. And then they, they end up helping Hank out, like as these like other protagonists. I, lo- yeah. I like their their character arc very well. They're, it's cool to see them like high fiving or like you know what I mean, just hanging out. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of that camaraderie is really sweet. So you got them. So we went through we went through. So in the beginning episodes, you got you got Hank, you got Jesus, who's not naked Jesus, and then we also got <laughs> the, no. the, the the sheriff used to be a character. Eventually gets killed off. I forget when that happens or if that happens that, in episode three, right? Three, yeah, yeah it was three. three. And that was when I think uh, Jesus either stabbed Hank or like he sta- he picked him Hank, up, and then Hank shot him in the face with a shotgun. And then he shot uh, um, the sheriff, and then he died due to his wound. Beautiful. Yeah, Beautiful. the sheriff didn't show up again after episode three because of that. Yep. Because mm-hmm. he's a loser and doesn't get revived. Yeah, because he's pe- he's a piece of shit. <laughs> if I could, Jesus was like, I got this. The fuck do I need this guy for? All right, so so we got so main characters. I don't know even know if you want to even throw in the sheriff. Like, sure, he was there for like three episodes, but like, I main... think he was side a character more or less. Side character. I mean, he came back in uh, the game and this Project Nexus though. It was like a bit more personality. Uh, the game is just canon. Yeah, that's not like can. I don't think it's canon to the main series though. It's like its own universe. Beautiful. Yeah. And then you also got Tricky. We brought up Tricky as well. So we got, for characters, we got Hank, Jesus, Tricky, Sanford, and Deimos. And we already went through like and, everything, everything that they got the brought auditor. into. Oh, yeah. We have the auditor. The auditor. Yeah, yeah, the, auditor. Yeah, the, auditor. the auditor is, uh, he's a big bad. So the auditor big shows bad. up in, six, or in 6.5 in a scene risky, like it's just his red eyes and it's the two mags behind him. That was seven. That was in that seven, was seven. That was seven. seven, my bad. Oh, seven. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I thought that was 6.5. No, no, no. That was seven. Um, my bad. All right, so no, but he's the one you also see eight. Um, Jeebus fight trying to kill the auditor, and the auditor wins. So Aud- auditor and Jeebus got got issues with each other. Yeah, yes. the auditor is uh not his shadow, not uh like a Jesus a shadow. 
<laughs> it hurts <laughs> me when you say that. That's my favorite character. <laughs> that was awesome. It yeah, so, seems like the ultimate auditor fangirl. Mm -hmm. And also Phobos, who only shows up in the games as well as the big bad. Sad. Phobos. You don't see him at all in the in the cartoons. Phobos. So I'm assuming PN1 and PN2 are not directly linked to the story. Mm -mm. They're yeah. not linked, really. There's some elements that link together, but in the long run, they're not connected. Yeah. But you also get this new character who we don't really have a name for, except his name is just To Be Damned, who helps out Deimos after a while, because Deimos becomes... He goes into hell, he get, becomes like a rock yeah, guy, goes, goes into, and like, To Be Damned helps him out. Yeah. But like, now we got this new remember character... In, remember in episode 9, Deimos dies, and then... Um, he basically gets sent into, sent into purgatory, and then it plays a whole demo series. And then in episode four of the demo series, um, Doobie Den gets him out of purgatory. And there's been no continuation of that yet. Wow. Okay, so you got Auditor, you had Phobos. Yeah, uh, all right, now I'm getting confused again. Okay, all right. so home. go from the list top down. From what you all, right, all right, all right, we're going we're gonna to say the list again, right? So we got, yeah. we got Hank. We said, fuck the sheriff. Sheriff don't matter. Uh, we got Jesus. We got Tricky. We got Sanford. We got Deimos. And then we went on to the Auditor. Uh, Simperine also brought up that Phobos in, is in the games, but not in the, in the, um, in the animation. So I'm mm -hmm. guessing Phobos is kind of like the Auditor or what? It's like controlling in some uh, type of way. The like equivalent, that. like in the games. Because in the series, Auditor is the big bad. At least the one that's that's controlling everything, but in the games, it's gonna be Phobos because he's the one that's leading the Nexus, which is what the two games are basically aimed towards. So let's move on from that then. All right, so we went to Auditor, we went to Phobos. So basically, we got the big bads. You got you got Jesus, you got Tricky, and then Demo, Sanford, Hank, and, and to be damned. yeah, to be damned, who we still really don't know much about, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah, he just showed up in a recent cartoon that he's you know he he's become like a purgatory. He's become like a quick fan favorite, it seems, though. Mm -hmm. So, To Be Damned is also a character. Now, is that in the original series? It just showed yep, up in the original series. Mm -hmm. What episode is that? Like the latest one? Um, that's the in like a... MC11. He's on the Deimos' side story, which links to the main story. Yeah, it's, okay. a, it's a series called, like, well, it's been nicknamed Deadmos because it's about Deimos, presumably, like, well, okay, well <laughs> I'm, a, I'm guessing you've watched here. Madness Nine, but I don't want to spoil it for you. Hold on, let me. I'll share my screen. I can show you. I know. I know. In preparation for uh, last year, I watched all the Madness videos back to back. Uh, I just get the end. Oh okay. well, uh, yeah. Well, in that case, after Deimos, a good spoiler alert, dies in Madness Nine. So this uh, is to be damned. That's to be damned. Yeah. Hold yeah. up. I remember this shit. Hold on. They had the, like their own little side thing going on. Yeah. yeah. That is weird. Like this, this episode is dope. So everybody likes to be damned. It's a side series where it's basically just uh, Deimos going through a like a sort of weird bootleg version of hell. Yeah, yeah. like uh, yeah, I like that a lot. I like how experimental uh, Crinkles got with his animation. Like, oh, this yeah. this looks simple, and then he just fucking starts getting wild with it. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, he he gets crazy when he's given the opportunity to. My my buddy Sethic actually made like uh, one of these backgrounds here as well. He did a really wow. good job on it. Nice. God, I, I gotta watch this now. This makes me want to watch right, it all, all right. over again. All, all right, right, so is that all the characters? This is uh, To Be Damned. That's the that's basically the latest edition. Like in terms yeah, besides the the actual you know random enemies that they fight, and that's all the like the recurring characters. Also, yeah. that's, uh, the end experiment. I think that's just a side thing, right? Yeah, yeah it is. where uh, he has he has his own little compound or something. I think I've no, seen no, it. Hold on. on, is it is this the one with the, the no, guy no. with the nails in his? Oh head? no, that's a. Uh, Torture. Uh, Madness Seven. Yeah. He's uh one of the main. Like, watch, one of the can, few mag agents. We can watch this so you can learn about it. Mag agents. Mag agents are basically like the normal like um, agents, right? But basically, they're scaled up like two times. Yeah, or like four times. Fucking huge sometimes. Yeah. Christ. Now, what would you say is the role between like Tricky, uh, Jesus or Jeebus, uh, slash Kristoff and and the Auditor? Like, what do they want? Like, they just like kind of get in each other's ways. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of hard to describe, want. really. I mean, Jeebus, like, basically reverted to being a good person if the games are anything to go by and his role in 8 means anything. But uh, Tricky just wants to, like, fuck up with everything and Auditor just wants to, like, power over things, essentially. Yeah. Um, in episode 8, um, Jeebus basically wanted to just purge the wicked, as he said. Basically, just wanted to, like, get rid of everything associated with madness, I think. Yeah, he wanted to... 
I think uh, I could be getting this horribly wrong, but I think his intention was to just uh, destroy, like, get rid of everything, just so that the endless killing would stop. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. I purged so the he wicked. he I purged the wicked. I love this intro. Yeah, he's essentially the only good guy in the whole series, if you can call it mm-hmm. that. It's hard to see him as a good guy too, because like he obviously he's fucked up our boys a lot. You yeah, know but saying? he's trying to end it. Yeah, I get it. I understand the character art. He tried to save the fucking sheriff, and he's a badass. I get that. But damn, he gets bested a lot too. He gets shot in the fucking like hand shot. You know what I mean? Like, like it makes it, it feel real because like you can't just dodge everything. Yeah, yeah. Even though he has his like little power of like that holy shield or whatever, like if you shoot at him, he can like block your. Also, your he can also, oh, also this, yeah. He's an interesting goddamn character. Yeah, it makes him really yeah. real. Like for being Jesus, he's pretty fucking real. <laughs> yeah. Get that. Am I confused, or does the auditor have a white version of himself where he's like white flames too, or is that something? Oh no, else? that's tricky. That's tricky. That's tricky. You're thinking so, of tricky when he becomes like a so fucking long. skeleton thing. And yeah. MC six, it was. Seven. It's MC seven, and then again in no, MC eleven. Yeah. yeah. So in MC seven, the opening, the uh, tricky or an ending of MC six. He uh, tricky fell down here, and then he came back up, and basically just beat the shit out of Hank. I remember this. This was really sad. Actually, he's like, "Get the fuck yeah. up." He's like, "Fight me, you bastard!" <laughs> tricky. What the hell? God, a lot of torment going on in Madness. I don't know if that's like a, yeah. a common theme. Think, think tricky was this toy with Hank. That's the whole character. Hold on. So what? Do you, what is Hank's objective then? What do we? So we're saying Jesus wants all the madness to end. Auditor wants to control everything. Tricky doesn't give a fuck. They just want chaos. They just crave that shit. So then, yeah. what about Hank? Sanford I think Daniels? Hank was. Just, I think Hank wanted to originally kill the sheriff and then got dragged into this. It, it's not explained in the cartoons. If we look at Nexus, they have a more like clear goal. But like in the main cartoons, there's like nothing. Yeah. Like, it, it seems more like uh, Hank is just an endless killing machine who's just trying to survive at this point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, here, yeah, I get shot there. It's kind of cool. <laughs> just rewatching these are just—it's just nice. It is nice. That's why I'm about to fucking do for the rest of the night for the most part. <laughs> yeah, let me join you in that. Actually, <laughs> hey, that'd be cool. <laughs> I'm down for that. I'll make some tea or some shit. That'd yeah, actually, I should probably get a drink maybe. So that's it then. That's all them characters. Like, yeah, if I, yeah, if that's all the recurring thing. ones. To be damned, we shall see what happens with them. Do you know? Is there ever a set schedule or like, do you, like a way to find out when the next Madness cartoon will ever come out? Or does um, Crinkle, no. Crinkle Definitely just keeps it to himself? I love yeah. it. Yeah, nice. I mean, he's I mean, he's a busy guy. Like he's working on a game as well as cartoons. Yeah. Plus, he's got. <laughs> I think he's got an actual like day job as well. If I'm not yeah. wrong. I mean, at least he's doing all the stuff with Madness Day. Ah, uh, I guess that's everything then. That's all the characters in the Madness world. As well as their plot devices, where they started off at, and what they plan to do with their evil powers. Now, who's your... This is my favorite question. Um, Zapchan, who's your favorite character? Uh, probably Kristoff slash Jeebus. And why is that? Why is that? I mean, I just like how he's got an actual motive and is essentially, like, although he's not the main protagonist, he's essentially the only good guy, quote-unquote, in the whole series. I like how Madness makes us enjoy the, the bad guys, too. Like, like I like the bad guys because they kill everyone. Like, it's kind of I mean, sweet. It's, it's sort of like, which bad guy do you want to win the most? Right. Shads, who's your mm. favorite character? Um, that's actually kind of tough. Um, it's obviously just going to be a mix between uh, Deimos and Sanford, I feel like. Like what? A mix between them? Like if they had a child, like that would be no, no, <laughs> no. It, it's it's just it's just between the two of them. Like uh, which one's my favorite? You had to pick one. Like you have to shoot yeah. one in the head. Which one do you shoot in the head? Fucking not sure. I mean, Damos <laughs> was already dead. I mean, Damos was already dead. Uh, so I think Sanford probably. No, it's like your birthday party. They show up, and it, it's it's some unfortunate events. Now you have to shoot one in the head. No. Uh. Why is oh, that a birthday party? Why is that a birthday party? Uh, <laughs> I mean, that happened in one of the cartoons and one of the shorts. Uh, Actually, yeah, yeah it did. Did it really? Yeah, yeah, I think he showed Come up on. in a cake and shot everybody in the room and took can the we, box can, and ran. Can we watch that real quick? That'd be great. Yeah, we can watch that. So, you, you won't choose between them is what you're telling me? I don't know. Um, I'd probably have to pick. I'd probably pick Sanford. Sanford? Is that the one that smokes? Or is that the uh, one uh, that No, Samus is the one that smokes. He's the one, the, Sanford's the one with the hook. With the hook, the hook, because the fucking grappling hook, it was really sweet when that got introduced. I did like that a lot, too. Simbarine! What's, who's your favorite character, yo? Auditor. I like Auditor. He's powerful and evil and big and bad and mean and stuff like that. And also, I like <laughs> Phobos for the same reason. And uh, if I had to pick a third character, Divas, because 
He's baller. Everyone else kind of stinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Hank. Yeah, fuck yeah. you, Hank. You're like, about damn time this guy died. Oh, he's back again. What the? <laughs> what we do we need this guy it. for? Shit. I got so happy when Auditor came out on top on MC11. All right. You like the bad guy mm-hmm. who fucks with all the code and, and wants all the power. And yeah. he's got, they got the really cool flame animations all the time. Evil. Yeah. Black and red. <laughs> What's with his halo? Does he have a halo? I don't understand. Does he got he a red halo? He his halo to he get more power. Chibis and then took it. I get yeah, it, I get yeah it. he actually yeah. kills Kristoff in, uh, I think it was, MC8. he kills him in MC8, but then he takes the halo in 9. Yeah, well, he, took the, he took it at the end of 8. Or no, wait, no, because he killed No, it wasn't 9. He took it because he died at 8, and then he took it at 9, because that's when yep, we yep. saw that he died. Okay, okay, okay. So, all right, 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 all right. All right, so Kristoff is dead. Yeah, uh, yeah, in the main series. Oh my god! All right, damn it, I forgot about that. I gotta rewatch him. That's cool though. All right, cool. Yeah. Zepchan, you sent for Jesus, which is a good thing, or Jesus, <laughs> good thing. <laughs> that just sounds like a sounds like something I'd say at church. Like yeah. I sent for Jesus. <laughs> you sent for Jesus. <laughs> Sim, Sims simps for uh, Auditor, and then Chad simps for S- Sanford, and that yeah. works out. I like you guys. Thank you for doing this with me. Yeah, this this was an episode of Art Talks. Wait, no, this is the New Grounds podcast. <laughs> so nice. There you go. <laughs>